It's classic anime, ain't it? That man and his manga. Hello and welcome to That Man. That's me merchandise and today we are going back in time to 1989. That's right, 1989. I was one then to look at Slayers or otherwise known as The Slayers or just Slayers or whichever way you want to call it. Now, this is an interesting title because this one was originally released way back when by Tokyo Pop and was fortunately rescued by J Novel Club and they have started releasing some absolutely gorgeous light novels. Absolutely fantastic. In fact, probably the nicest light novel I actually own in terms of quality. Now, what is Slayers? Well, it is a fantasy. Well before pretty much any other light novel was a little egg, we had Slayers and a few other titles. And yes, yes, fantasy. And this definitely goes on the back of the hype of, you know, the whole Dragon Quest phenomena. And also feels very 80s and 90s as to be expected. Our protagonist is Lena. That's right, the fantastic, super awesome Lena. Or oh, that's what she kind of refers to herself in this volume. In fact, what is interesting in this is that this is pretty much all narrated by Lena, who is a very, very unreliable narrator. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually love this character. This character is easily one of my favourite light novel protagonists. She's just so fun. She's just over the top. And you can see how other characters later on, such as, well, Nami, have been somewhat inspired by her. In fact, it tends to be that all of the ginger characters are pretty awesome. Then there's also Ichigo from Bleach. Maybe it's just because I'm ginger myself and it's always nice to see some representation. Honestly, Slayers really surprised me at how much they held up. I have read a few other titles where it's kind of, they feel old and they read old, but G Novel Club have done a wonderful job of, well, the whole translation. Now, I have read the original source material way back when with Tokyo Pop and yeah, it was serviceable. It did its job, but it wasn't anything fantastic. And this is something else I will mention once I eventually get around to reviewing Full Metal Panic, because that is another title that Geonova Club actually did save and did a re-release of with their own new translation. But Slayers, honestly, it is so much fun. In this volume, you actually get three volumes. It's a free in one Much like Full Metal Panic and a few of the other releases by Gene Novel Club, it is an omnibus edition. But hardcover, always nice. And honestly, these are some of the nicest ones I've ever read. The titles themselves, they're pretty good. I mean... You can tell just by reading that it is an older style title. You're not going to have much of, well, any of the whole isekai tropes. But you do get a rather good fantasy and you do get a lot of stuff that kind of would make more sense if you looked at it as an early 90s title. You have your, well, fantasy whole Dragon Quest shtick. You know, Tarkin monsters, and you also have a lot of the ridiculous Dragon Ball Z over the top, well, action. You have a lot of really good action in here, and again, you can also tell that this was inspired by Dragon Ball. There is a lot of the usual, oh, this is a demon, but then he turns into an even stronger demon kind of nonsense that you would see in Dragon Ball, and the art style does very much hit the same kind of vibe as it. Honestly, Slayers is a really fantastic title and it's one that I would wholeheartedly recommend you guys check out. Lena is easily one of my favourite protagonists, but she's also accompanied by other interesting characters. We have the usual, you know, the swordsman who's he's not too bright, he's kind of kept on the tight chain, but he does the job which is, you know, slashing and killing things. And we have other characters including, well, demonic mages who, again, 
it's not their final form, and a lot of the kind of 80s, 90s savagery which we just genuinely don't really see much except we see in Shonen and people just kind of like, oh, this is the most greatest Shonen ever. It's doing exactly the same thing as what happened 30 years ago, but it's unique because I've seen it. But in all seriousness, I would recommend you guys check Slayers out. There's a lot of fun to be had. There's a lot of comedy. And honestly, if you want a funny series on top of an action-based one, you're going to have a lot of great content here. And I'm not going to lie, it still feels pretty fresh and pretty unique, even in this day and age. There's a lot of stuff that's been taken from this title and turned into its own little thing, but it also manages to hold up on its own. There's a lot of stuff that you just genuinely don't see anymore in terms of light novels. And it's all here in this omnibus edition that, honestly, I can't wait for more. In fact, I believe G Novel Club are releasing another Omnibus edition very shortly. So, yeah, I'm going to have to read that and fall further behind on my to-read to list. But that's not a bad thing. More light novels are always good. Have you guys checked out The Slayers? Let me know. What do you guys think of it? Are you amazed by it? Or did you just find it a little bit boring? And next time, join me as we start next anime season with Skeleton Knight in another world. See you there.